All right, it's round three for the Real Housewives of New York City. The women are returning for another season of drama, drama, and you know? More drama. And joining us today are the Apple Housewives, Jill Zarin and Countess Luann de la Seps. You all have gone through so much so far, and you're back for another season. Back are you excited for, back about from it? The trouble. <laughs> are we, should we be excited about it? That's the big question. Oh yeah, there's a lot of changes of alliances this season, so I think it's going to be an interesting season, and people will be surprised. What keeps you coming back for more? Well, it's not the money. <laughs> It's definitely not the right. I love your honesty. That's what I love about you. No, no, actually, it is the money in the long run, maybe, but uh, it's definitely not the money. It's, honestly, it's the fun, and it's the access, and it's meeting unbelievable people, and it's building my brand. I have a book coming out, Secrets of a Jewish Mother, that my mother, my sister, and I wrote. And do you think in a million years I ever would have got a book, you know, had a book out? I can't wait to read it. I had to write a book as well. Classic and the Countess. And she's got a new song coming out this season. Which you have, you have Jill, so Jill is my greatest on. publicist. You have so Jill much going on. We can have you back every week for something new, and we're probably going to do that. I love it. All right, let's talk first of all. Uh, Countess Luann, can I call you Luann? Yes, absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> all right, last time you were here, we talked about your divorce. It's since been finalized. Are you going to be dating this season? Well, you know what? I hate to give storylines away but in real life I'm dating yes oh nice okay <laughs> so we got a little bit of the so you have right to watch now. what happens are right? the real house I was trying to set you up or is this, you're doing this on your own you're um, your own you matchmaker. know what I I really um, prefer to be my own matchmaker although we did try to to set me up with one guy but he was on the older side right Joel I, listen Oops. I do my best I'm going younger this, I, this I, year I often heard Patty Stanger from the millionaire matchmaker because she <laughs> nice. really is amazing and I was you know and she would have done it for free you know as, as a comp oh thank you Jill <laughs> Jill's always looking out for you finding the deal yeah she's looking out for me uh, Jill you and Bethany were good friends how you've since grown apart what are we expecting for season three I don't want to give away the storyline, but I'm really happy for her that she's pregnant and moving on with her life and building her brand. And you know, she's got a new show coming, so I think she's sort of left the housewives behind. You know, Do you I think, think she's so? moved on to another, Any, to another, what are the chapter in her life? Which I'm really, I'm real happy for her. Any chance she's pregnant, having a baby, you'll be able to put the past behind you. It'll be maybe a whole new Bethany. I don't hold any grudges. Um, I would love that to happen. So, you know, you'll have to watch and see what happens. We'll have to see. I will be. I'll, I have a tea vote for tonight. Don't worry. All right, last season, you guys were really trying to sort of get a read on Kelly. Do you think that we're going to learn anything more about it? Do you hang out with her more this season? Are you closer? I'll let you go first. We, um, we definitely see more of Kelly this season, and you're going to get to know her better this season, and we're still getting to know her, you know? Um, she's, she's pleasantly a, surprised with she, what you've Yeah, I think, I think you'll, everybody will be pleasantly surprised surprise this she, season I with she Kelly. opens up a lot more and uh, I don't think last year honestly she had a fair chance she didn't have a chance God she walked she into walked the in she walked into the, the den, den. <laughs> she I mean, really, honestly, how would you feel if you were like a senior in high school going into a new high school with everybody would and all frightened. the clicks to make and you would be frightened and you know what she came in with a lot of courage and a lot of you know class so and she's like a sophomore now that's, that's how she's a learning. sophomore all right. she's still working her way <laughs> up to being that senior to be a, she's in not varsity. a freshman anymore exactly she's a sophomore <laughs> she's so. You know, I, I think everyone's gotten to know her better. I was on the first one to admit that I didn't give her a chance last year. I was affected by what other people told me, and uh, I made judgments based on what other people told me, and I didn't make my own opinion. All right, new season, new relationship. We took to Facebook and Twitter to get a few questions. I know you're both on Twitter. Oh, good. Um, let's let's an let's ask a few of them. I don't want to run out of time. Fedelina wants to know, Jill, has the economy affected your fabric store in any way? It was a horrible year last year. I was hoping we would survive. It's definitely come back, and all of my everyone I know, their business is back. You know, thank God we're still in business and I'm working on a bedding line that's due out this summer. So oh, I'm very fabulous. excited about that. You have so that. much going on. I love it. Right, Donna wants to know, if you could trade places with someone living a less lavish life, would you do it? And if so, for how long? Is that for me? Sure. Um, would I trade places uh, for a less lavish life? Yes, I come yeah. from a less. La I would. I come from a less lavish life. I, you know, grew up in Connecticut. I'm an American Indian. I was a nurse, and it was a very satisfying job for me, and I was very happy doing that. So I think you can be happy anywhere. It just comes from within. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much. You're so wonderful. I love having you here in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. I was looking so forward to much. it all morning long. All right, <laughs> you can catch season three, the premiere of Real Housewives of New York City tonight on Bravo. Be sure and check it out, and we'll be back after the break. Thank you.